So, this video, let me show you how to make this. The remote control hose pipe controller. Sprinklery doodah thingy. So this is one of the projects from my book. If you haven't got it, you should probably go and get it because there's lots of other projects just like it. And uh, I'm gonna show you how to make it now. So for this wonderful creation, you are going to need a piece of wood, two hose pipe connectors, two Jubilee clips, two 15 mil plumbing pipe clips, two nine volt battery holders and batteries, or another battery which will kick out 12 volts, a remote control switch, and a 12 volt three quarter BSP solenoid valve. And a plastic lunchbox tub type thing to keep it all in. So start off with, we're gonna screw our lunch tub lid to the bottom of our piece of wood. Now we've only got a piece of wood is because we need to fix things inside the tub and screw into a piece of plastic is not ideal. So just place that on there and let's just put a few little screws in the corners. And then we get some screws. Right, there we go. So we've now got a tub screwed by its lid to the bottom of a piece of wood. And then you can click it shut, pull the tabs and open it up. You can use all sorts of different tubs, but what you've got to make sure you can do is get to the tabs in the kind of upside down position, because some of the other ones like fold over forward and then you can't get your hands on them to flick them off. You don't actually need the plastic tub if you don't want to, but it's good because this is, you know, we're dealing with water and stuff, it's probably going to get wet, and it just looks nice, doesn't it? Looks a little bit more like a complete invention. Right, next up, grab the solenoid valve. A solenoid valve is a valve which is operated by electricity. The hose pipe connectors. Now these are three quarter BSP, and the solenoid valve I've asked you to get is three quarter BSP. So you literally you just screw them on the end. So on the bottom of the solenoid valve, there is a tiny little arrow. You need to recognise that because these only work in one direction. You're going to put that inside your little box towards one side because you've got to get your uh, little circuit board in here, and then you've got to get your batteries somewhere next to it as well. So you kind of need to space it out a bit, a bit like this. So you need to put it to one side, but not too far across, because the lid needs to be able to come over and shut and clear it. Now, if you just mark the center of the valve, and now you've got your center, you need to mark a parallel line straight down your box. So this is to mark the clips, so when the hose is on the end, it can kind of sit and click in. And if uh, rather than having the actual clampy bits that are supposed to go on the end of there, if you just push the hose over. If the hose is a bit stiff, wiggle some pliers in the end. And then you can get your Jubilee clip. That's what the Jubilee clips are for. Put them over there. Tighten them up. Right, so now you get the 15mm uh, plumbing clips and we're going to fix them in quite near the edge of the tub just like that. So we get a little uh, drill, pilot drill them again. Get some screws. What have I done with the screws? Had all this set up. Here they are, Colin. So what this does is it holds the valve in place. So if we put that in there, now hose pipes, some hose pipes fit in 15 mil clips really well. This is a bit big, but it doesn't matter because it just keeps it steady. And now it's nice and solid and it can't flop around and fall over. It's, now, of course, I've put two short bits of hose pipe on the end of this, but you you know, if you're gonna put your garden hose on it, this would be the end of a massive long hose pipe. But for ease of me doing this on video, I've used two short bits. So next bit is the remote control switch, and we wanna fix this up here. You could put it down there, it doesn't matter which way around you do it, really, but I'm gonna put it up here. And we wanna basically screw this box, just like we have done everything else, into the bottom, and then put a little bit of tape over the screw head because we don't want the screw head touching the bottom of the circuit board. So that's that taped up, and you can put your little circuit board in there. Now before we wire anything up, we want to mount the batteries. Now you can use two 9 volt batteries, wired together in series, which will make 18 volts, which is enough, or if you can try and find a battery that will kick out 12 volts on its own right, then you can use that, because these valves are 12 volt. But for this one, I'm gonna use the two nine volts, and we can sit them in down here. And then again, we're just gonna screw them in position. Now make sure the wires can reach the, uh, the circuit board. Now I'm using a countersink drill to fix my little battery holders. There are some little holes in them where you can put screws, but the screws have to be so tiny, you just, you know, they would stick up and then the battery wouldn't sit in right. 
Wonderful. Next thing is the wiring. Now the next job is wiring up our little circuit board. And if you're running a two battery setup like I am, then you'll have a positive and negative coming out of each battery holder or a red and the black cable. And then what we need to do, we need to connect them together. So we need to get the black cable from one of the batteries and connect it to the red cable of the other battery. And then the red and black one which we've got left over is our positive and negative of which we've got to send to our circuit board. So let's do that. Got a bit of tape around the end of them just to give them a bit of protection. So the two wires that we've got remaining are our positives and negatives. Now on the circuit board, uh, they don't normally come with wiring diagrams, but they're not complicated. There's a plus and minus, which is the in, and then the three, which is like the outs of the circuit board. There's a common, which is normally the centre one, and then you've got two other tabs, which say NC and NO. And what that means is normally closed, normally open. So basically when you push the switch, Normally closed means that means there'll be no current because it's normally closed and normally open means that'll be permanent current. So depend what you want to do. So if you want the uh, valve to be open all the time, you would wire it up to the normally open one, but we don't. We want it to be normally closed. So we want to go NC. But let's put the uh, positives and minus in. So red one's positive, black one's minus, and that one goes in there. So we can push them straight in and then tighten them up with my screwdriver. Boom, and then black one in the negative. Now if you're just running one battery, you don't need to do the whole tying the wires together. You just take the two wires, the positive and the negative, and put them straight in the circuit board on the positive and negative. Now the next bit we need to do is get another little separate piece of wire and then take it from our NC, normally closed terminal, pop that in there, tighten that up, now you can use any colour of wire. I'm using red, so it's easy for you to follow on this. And then we take that and connect it to any side of the solenoid valve, because there's no polarity on this. It doesn't matter which one you connect it to, it will still work. So we take that wire up and put it on there. Now, these do take a spade connection, which is like a little, uh, little tab which you can clamp on the end. But if you haven't got the uh, crimpy thing to do that, you can just strip the wire and then ravel it around the terminal. So once you've connected your positive out of your NC terminal off your circuit board, you need to connect another wire, which is in theory the negative from the solenoid valve, and this has to get back to the negative on the battery. Now the easiest way to do this is to just connect it in to the same negative terminal, ter terminal on the inside of the circuit board. So we're going to kind of bend it round, and then we're going to put it in the same one. So we're going to have two cables going into that first part of circuit board. So we need to undo the screw again and then put both of them in there. It might be a bit tight, but it'll go. And that, that is the circuit board. That is it. Don't worry about the fact there's a little circuit board and there's a remote control. It's just like two wires in, one out, and then one back in with the other two to kind of make three. Bosh, done. Now after I finished the video, I had to make another one of which I took pictures for for the book. And I found out that the circuit board I've got here is a little strange because nearly every other circuit board needed an extra wire. Now there's going to be a wiring diagram on the screen and basically what you need to do is take a second wire from where the positive goes into the plus side on the circuit board around and into that common port. Yep. Why this one works I don't know but that's cheap circuit boards for you. Anyway, back on with this. So if we uh, grab our batteries, put them in, you in there two. Get our switch, pull the aerial out, press the button, and you can hear it click. Cool. Right, last thing to do, you might need to cut the little tabs off on the, uh, on the top of the box to stop the cables getting trapped. Right, so it's all working. Last job we've got, of course, we've got to shut this, and it hits on the pipe. So we've just got to put two little marks where the pipe hits, and then put some little slots in it, and we're good to go. There we are, all done. Now I'd use a hacksaw to cut the slot out of the tub, because if you use a pair of pliers, it might split like it did on me. But there we go, right, let's close the lid up. Lovely jubbly. Let's go connect it up, have a bit of fun.
on a summer's day. Really cheap, really easy to do. Now this is one of 10 projects which you can find in the Colin First book. It's out now. Click on the book logo at the end of the video and get yourself your own copy! It's really good. Look at all these wonderful pages. Oh look, there's me and all the things. Oh look, it's Cartoon Colin, look. Cartoon Colin. Weird Colin. <laughs> 